Hello everybody, this is Lightstar Nexus, and welcome back from more or less way Pokemon Silver version. In the last episode, we fought Karen, the dark type user of the Elite Four. In this episode, we're gonna go fight the champion. Alright. So this is it. This is land. The champion of the Elite Four. As soon as soon as we step on these steps, or as soon as we go up these steps, the battle will begin. So let's do it. I've been waiting for you, Nexius. I knew that you would. I knew that you, with your skills, would eventually reach me here. There's no need for words now. We will battle to determine who is the stronger of the two of us. As the most powerful trainer, and as the Pokemon League champion, I, Lance, the Dragon Master, accept your challenge. And this is Lance, the Pokemon League champion. Lance likes to use Dragon types, and despite that, he has a Gyarados as his first Pokemon. I sent Hebby out because Hebby is our ace in this battle. Or not this battle, this whole LP. I always considered Hebby as the first Pokemon I captured, even though it was not. But Hebby was always the one that I was rooting for. Hebby is the. Dunsparce was the Pokemon that no one ever used, that everyone always thought was useless. And I'm here to prove them all wrong. Dunsparce, throughout this LP, and even before this LP, has always been a favorite of mine. And I'm gonna prove to- I'm only gonna prove right in this battle that Heavy can in fact be one of the strongest Pokémon in the game. His next Pokémon is Dragonite. Dragonite is a flying- flying Dragon-type. And as some of you may or may not know, I don't like Dragonite one bit. Because when Dragonite evolves from Dragonair, not only does it take four times the amount of damage from Ice-type attacks due to its flying subtype, it's now also weak to Rock-type attacks, and it loses a resistance to Electric-type attacks. I, pref I much rather prefer Dragonair over Dragonite. And because he sent out Dragonite, guess what? Our rollout combo is still going, and it's just getting stronger and stronger. So this Dragonite is down in one shot. His next Pokémon is another Dragonite. He has three Dragonites. This is his second Dragonite. Goes for the Thunder Wave, still didn't affect us. Our rollout combo takes it out in one shot, I know it does. And in fact, every one of his Pokémon here it ha has a flying subtype. So, our rollout combo pretty much just wrecked his entire team. His next Pokémon is Aerodactyl. Aerodactyl is, the fos is one of the fossil Pokémon from Red and Blue version. And, um, it is a flying rock type. So if we just keep up our rollout, which is a rock type attack, it'll just keep getting stronger and stronger, and we will eventually take Lance down. Now hopefully, now hopefully this rock slide doesn't do too much damage to us. I'm not sure you can really survive another one, unfortunately. But Heavy did good. Oh my god, he got a critical hit, how about that? So Heavy just took down four of Lance's Pokémon. His next Pokémon is Charizard. Charizard is the fully evolved form of Charmander, one of these three starters of Red Blue and of Red Blue or Red and Blue version. And it is a fire flying type, another Pokémon with a flying su or a flying subtype. And also, it's another Pokémon that is not, in fact, a Dragon-type. Although it looks very much like a Dragon-type, it is not. Alright, so unfortunately, 
Heavy was taken down, but he was able to take four Pokemon down with him, and that makes him a real trooper. Alright, so the next Pokemon we're gonna send out is Stone. And actually, because I know, um, I know, um, Stone can withstand some attacks, I'm actually going to revive Heavy, because I want Heavy to be the star of this battle by defeating Lance's final Pokemon. So I used Revive, now I'm going to use Hyper Potion. Heavy is back up to full strength again. Yeah, just keep using those flamethrowers, you're not going to do anything to me. In fact, let's try Horn Drill out for a change. Let's see if I can actually land this on screen. Nope. This might take Stone down, unfortunately. Maybe, maybe not. Oh, it left him with just a little bit of HP left. Alright, well, Stone was just taken down. So, I guess our next Pokemon we're going to send out is Heavy again. Alright, so we're going to start our rollout combo going again. Flamethrower shouldn't do that much to Heavy. His defense is, um, pretty, pretty good. Although, it did a little bit more than I was hoping for. But being a rock and being fire and flying, Charizard actually takes four times the amount of damage normally. And four times the amount of damage times two from the critical hit. And yeah, we just did eight we just did eight times the normal amount of damage from that one attack. Oh, unfortunately we missed with rollout. So, so we're not going to have a very good rollout combo going into his last Pokemon. But, we will have enough to take Charizard down. His last Pokemon is a third Dragonite. Now, I'm just going to send Soren out here, as cruel as it sounds, as cannon fodder. Uh, if you don't know what that means, it pretty- Cannon Fodder is pretty much like in war. The soldiers you send out for the enemy to waste their ammo on. Yeah, as- as terrible as that sounds. The best analogy I could- the best in- the best gaming analogy I could use? The grunts from Halo are Cannon Fodder. Oh my god, it's using Outrage. Outrage is a very powerful dragon type attack. And um and um as you use it or as the user uses it, it'll eventually get confused. And um oh wow, it actually did a lot less that time. Unfortunately, Flash doesn't seem to be working. But Soren tanked three outrage took three outrages for us. And that should leave Dragonite confused for a little bit. So we're gonna hit it with rollout. And good, it's hurting itself with confusion, so that gives us a good turn to get our rollout combo going. And I think that might just do it. No, not quite. You son of a bitch. Well, it doesn't matter. Our rollout combo just keeps getting stronger and stronger. And Heavy can pretty much tank any attack he sends at us next turn, whether it be Hyper Beam, Outrage, whatever. He's gonna go for Safeguard on his last turn. Are you kidding me, man? What a waste of a final attack. Anyway, that's it. Dragonite is down. We have defeated Lance, the Dragon Master Champion, with Heavy, a Dunsparce. So take that, 
Dunsparce is the absolute powerful Pokemon in this game. Well, at least in my Let's Play. It's over. But it's an odd feeling. I'm not angry at that I lost. In fact, I feel happy. Happy that I witnessed the rise of a great new champion. And we didn't use Twilight in that battle. We probably should have, but oh well. You have, tr you have become truly powerful, Nexius. Your Pokémon have responded to you strong and upstanding nature. As a trainer, you will continue to grow strong with your Pokémon. Oh boy. Hey, Professor Oak. Ah, Nexius, it's been a long while. You certainly look more mature. Your conquest of the League is just fantastic. Your dedication, and your dedication, trust, and love for your Pokémon made this happen. Your Pokémon were outstanding too, because they were because they believed in you as a trainer. They, perser they persevered. Congratulations, Nexius. I'm doing his voice terribly. Let's interview the brand new champion. This is getting to be a bit too noisy. Nexius, could you come with me? Oh wait, we haven't done the interview! Screw your interview. I don't know why they played this music. It's been a long time since I last came here. This is where we honor the League Champions for all eternity. Their courageous Pokémon are also inducted. Here today, we witnessed the wa we witnessed the rise of a new Pokemon League champion, a trainer who feels compassion, feels compassion for and trust in his Pokemon, a trainer who succeeded through perseverance and determination, the new League champion who has all the makings of greatness. Nexius, allow me to register you and your partners as champions. Heavy, level 51 Dunsparce. Sakuya, level 50, level 50 Blossom. Twilight, level 51 Umbreon. Stone, level 50 Rhydon. Soren, level 50 Noctowl. Aqua Shock, level 50 Lantern. Nexius, ID number 26808. Playtime, 36 hours, 24 minutes. Seven, 176 Pokemon seen, 20 Pokemon owned. Professor Oak's rating? They're getting good at this, but you have a long way to go. Well, screw you, Oak. And there you have it, the Pokemon Silver Version Staff Credits. So, I'm just gonna sit here and let you guys enjoy the credits. Now, don't worry, this is not the end of the game, there's still a lot to come. But, you know... Oh, Ken Sugimori. I almost missed him. Ken Sugimori is the artist for all the Pokemon artwork. And, um, honestly, it's very, very... It's very, very good artwork, in fact. It's the artwork that you see in guidebooks and online and everything. And, yeah. So anyway, yeah, I'm just gonna let you guys sit through he sit through the game credits. And I will see you guys in the next episode. When we continue this, ab this amazing adventure. So until then, everybody... Thank you.